there is no more fake of a 3 and 0 team than Seattle. They've played the weakest schedule. You Pittsburgh. look at you have a new Well, yeah, again, I'm just looking at, you know, the metrics I use, it's it's the weakest schedule. I, I put Pittsburgh ahead of Seattle, no question in my power ratings, but you look at Seattle and you say, "Wow, they're 3 and 0 against the spread. They just beat Miami." And what a great job, you know, uh, Mike McDonald is doing. But you look at that 3-0 and start. Week one, you host a rookie quarterback against Denver with a team that had the lowest season win total this year. Then you go to New England. Guess what? They tied Denver for the lowest season win total this year. And then you play Miami with a backup quarterback. You can't ask for a better start to the season. Now what happens? Now you have to go face Detroit. The Lions are number one this year at plus 106 yards per game. When you look at the Lions at home, they're 21-9 and nine against the spread, their last 30 home games. When you exclude games as a favorite of seven or more as a big touchdown favorite at home, they are 16-4 and four against the spread, their last 20 home games. Here's an angle that is 86.4%. You have a team with a winning record that has an above average offense, meaning they rank in the top 14. They're off a win as a favorite, playing a team that won last week and allowed seven points or less. So a good offensive team off a win, playing a team that's off a win with a good defensive performance, those teams have gone 19 and 3, 86.4%. That is on Detroit. And Dan Campbell, when he preps the Lions and they're playing a team off a win, there is no looking past anyone. They are 18 and 7, 72%. And when you exclude those games again as a favorite of a touchdown or more, when Dan Campbell is coaching a team versus an opponent off a win, he is 18 and 4, 82% against the spread. It is Monday night. Grab Detroit minus the three and a half. So I got to ask you, you talked about the Lions offense and how good it is, but the results don't show that so far this year. The results show that Detroit scored 20 in regulation in week one, 16 against Tampa in week two, and 20 last week against Arizona week three. And the offense, I watched that game closely. That offense was not clicking on all cylinders against a pretty mediocre D. Uh, how confident are you that Detroit's offense really is capable of uh, stepping up and, and putting up points in bunches? You know, Teddy, you look at the yardage. I mean, they're averaging 400 yards per game. So, yes, they're, they're struggling in the red zone a little bit. Uh, they're having some uh, Jared Goff, a 6.3 YPA. So that is not going to cut it. But I expect them now as they're going. They've only been sacked the four times. Uh, at Arizona was twice, at the Rams again. Seattle can get some pressure. But, uh, again, this is a situation where I am as much fading Seattle as I am Detroit. And, again, they have proven to me that when Campbell's coaching, he's not quite James Franklin, but he does like to cover those spreads. So uh, despite only averaging 21 points per game, and only winning by three points per game on average on the season, I don't mind backing him in this role. 